Hi everybody, this is Gijs again with another review and I hope you are doing well. This time it is a grill, the Yuko Flatpak Grill and Fire Pit. So if you like grilling, barbecuing or just making campfires without damaging nature, watch this video. Welcome to the review of the Yuko Flatback Grill and Fire Pit. And well, yes, this is all there is to it. It is three centimeters in thickness. It is 34.5 centimeters in width. And in length, it is 27 centimeters. So this is a very small pack size. The weight is 1700 grams and that is fine if you travel by car and therefore it is not for backpacking. Well, as you might be able to see, the pouch, it is quite a tight fit because of all the tension there is on it. Now, let me open it. There's some piece of Velcro and the fact that it is quite a tight fit is that I already tore a bit apart here, which is a pity. And I did that when I was putting the grill back in there. So a slightly bigger pouch would be really well appreciated by me at least. Now let me take it out. Oppa. Here we've got the stainless steel handle. Put it onto the pouch. Here we've got the grill which is steel wire frame and this is the whole well fire pit basically because that's the grill of course. Now all there is to it is just to open it like a Chinese hand fan twist the legs underneath here, now it's like this, and turn it upside down again. And this is the beauty of the Yuko. As you can see, it is V-shaped and it is heart-shaped on the top, which not only looks cool, but is also quite well designed because the grill fits onto the, well, basically the half rounded hard parts, which is, I think, very nice. Um, as you can see, there is a little opening underneath here for the airflow and there are four, four ventilation openings on each side. Um, what I've discovered is that if you want to regulate the amount of fire and heat a bit, it is just a matter of taking the Yuko by its legs and turning it in or outside the wind direction. Because if this is the wind direction like now, there will be a lot of airflow going on. And if you turn it like this, well, the air will be blocked. Um, it is not always 100% effective. So I've been, well, basically trying something with um, aluminum foil as well. And that works as well. Now let's start a fire. Yes, and this is the magic, of course, of video. In the old days it was television, but now I have some wood here. Um, I'm here in a nature reserve and I'm not allowed to cut any wood where I am. So I brought some from home. And what I always do is, I just like old fashioned matches. Um, this is some wood which is really full of resin, which always works. But of course, the best trick is of course, birch wood. Just the bark of it, the last bit. This is really a super material. And I've got a really, this is like a paper thin one. Um, and you see it's getting dark already. The geese are flying back to their night resting place or maybe into the fields to get some dinner. Um, and I've got always got some, what's a more, ah, it's more birch bark. And I've got my knife and I always take some really nice small shavings. Is that how you call it in English? And now we skipped a moment because there was a dog. And I don't mind dogs, but I'm not a dog lover because I've been bitten too often. So let's get some more of these. Now, save that one for later. And now just take my match and light the fire. And maybe you think this is not the real deal because you maybe I should do it with a fire steel. Yes, that's possible too, but well, this is the easy way. Well, now there you have a fire. And I've been trying the Yuko flat pack grill um, just with normal regular wood. Also what I collected when I was on holiday in France. Um, 
but also of course with just a normal coal that we use to do a barbecue with and well, it doesn't really matter if you use wood or uh, charcoal it really works the same it's really fast and the good thing is and I will turn it a bit is that because of the shape um, the wind direction if the wind is blowing from this direction because of ventilation holes you get a really nice airflow in uh, the Yuko um, and if you think it's going too fast just turn it the other way around and now it's going to take just a little time to make a decent fire to start grilling. Well, as you can see, the fire is really going nice. Now, I've got the grip, which is, looks flimsy, but it works really well. And then I'll take a piece of wood just to get it down there. And now I can lay the grill on there. And this is how you change the fire pit into a grill. And now I'll just let it down a little bit more so it gets into ashes and then I'll start grilling my evening meal. And while the fire is getting more like a grill fire, um, there's one thing that surprised me about the pouch itself. It might be a bit too narrow, but when I saw some sparks coming up from the fire getting onto the material itself, this proves, and that's what I think at least, this is some sort of a natural canvas because it doesn't get affected by sparks. Uh, and I tried it with a, well, basically a, a metal rod, put it into the fire and tried to get some birthmark, some burn marks in there. And it just didn't work. So even if you uh, manage to put a very hot yuko in there, this won't get damaged. Well, it's taken about 10 to 15 minutes to get the wood into charcoal. And now it is time to get some dinner. And of course, this is video magic number two, because I've got my veggies, of course, prepared as well. well this is what I like to do. And what I didn't tell you yet is that this is, of course, well, not the real deal, because my family, who is not wanting to be in the video, is waiting over there for their dinner basically so I'll just give you a small taste on what the yuko is about let's clean this up a bit Apokidoshi. well that's some veggies and what I'd also like something that I prepared at home are these small skewers with sort of chili chicken and I've also got a vegetarian vari variation on this one for my youngest daughter because she is a vegetarian and what I do like about the Yuko grill is that the basically the grill itself it's placed lengthwise you see some grills they have the wires into this direction and what happens then if you approach the grill from this side and you put small sausages on there or small skewers they just drop directly down into the fire and this is always the better way now all I have to do is wait until my food is ready well this is ready so I'm going to have my dinner and afterwards cook for my family because they are hungry um, now I just got to do one more thing and that's over to the verdict well, the sun is almost gone, so let's get on with the verdict. How do I rate the Yuko Flatpack Grill and Fire Pit? Well, I think it is a very well designed and excellent executed small foldable grill. The fact that it is made out of stainless steel makes it very durable. The pack size is quite small and the weight of 1700 grams is fine for people who travel by car or camper. Um, if you are a backpacker, it might be a bit too heavy, except for a day hike where you go barbecuing with friends, for example. The way how the grill operates is very easy and the grill really works well. And when you're done grilling, the fire pit is excellent too. Because of the ground clearance, you don't get any burns on the ground itself. And that is good if you are camping on grass, for example. The pouch. Um, I like the fact that it seems to be fire retardant. Um, on the downside, it is also a bit too small, resulting in some damage. So if I want to be a nitpick, please make it a bit bigger. And again, 
there's one remark that I would like to make, and that is how to regulate the fire or the, the airflow, basically. Um, I would like to see some regulators on the ventilation openings, because that would make it a bit better. The price, um, it is 63 euros and 99 cents, which is about 50 dollars. And that is a bit more than I am, well, accustomed to pay for small foldable grills. But they are not made out of stainless steel and this one is. So this is the durable and sustainable choice. And therefore I rate the Yuko Flatpak Grill and Fire Pit at 8.6 out of 10 points total. I hope you liked the review and that it was useful to you. And if it was, please give it a like and leave a comment below. For those who just tuned into my channel, um, I am a 100% independent reviewer. I'm not being paid by manufacturers to make my reviews. I don't have any affiliate deals and I don't have advertisements on my website. And I would like to keep it this way. So please, if you value independent reviewing, subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page. And if you do, many, many, many thanks in advance. Enjoy the outdoors. Ciao, ciao.